Okay, I was browsing Wish.com and I saw this two terabyte USB 3 memory stick for £11.70. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? So, only one way to find out. Let's order one and see what we get. So, it's turned up today. This is my two terabyte USB 3 memory stick from Wish.com. Let's see what we've actually ended up with. Well, minimally packed. USB, USB cable it says on the pack. That's a completely irrelevant piece of packing. Okay, it's a little Ziploc bag. Let's open up and have a look at the device itself. No markings externally. It looks like it's made from stainless steel maybe brushed sort of stainless steel finish. It's solid metal. Nice construction. Keyring sort of style. But no markings at all on there. I guess the proof of the pudding is going to be in the eating. So let's find ourselves a testing utility and then we'll give this a bit of a run through and see if we really have got a two terabyte USB stick here. Right, so before we start, let's be realistic about this. There is no way that this is a two terabyte USB stick. There's just no way that is possible. Two terabytes of PC RAM looks like this, and two terabyte memory sticks look like this, and with a price tag to match. So there is absolutely no chance that this is a genuine two terabyte USB stick, but let's actually have a look and see and find out what we really have got here. Now you might think I'm being negative or prejudiced about this, but I'm actually just being realistic. This costs £11 and there is just not a chance that this is a genuine 2 terabyte storage. So let's design a test to find out exactly what it is. Now you can get freeware utilities which will test and verify the true capacity of your USB memory. I've downloaded this one which is called RM Prep USB and it's very good. However, the transfer rate on this USB stick, I've already tried this, it's very, very, very slow and it would take forever. Actually, I calculated it would take about 11 days for this thing to test up to two terabytes of capacity because this transfer rate on this stick is so very slow. So we're going to need a different approach and I've got a simple idea I, I'm fairly sure will work. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a video file. This is Weird Stuff in a Can, episode 66. I'm going to make two copies on my desktop. So there we go, I've got two copies of the same file, let's just verify they both play. That's copy B. Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can. And copy A. Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is... Right. So now, we're going to take the memory stick. And plug it in. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what it says. Actually, when we look at the properties, it says 1.90 terabytes. Now, I know that that isn't going to be true. Anyway, so on the USB drive, I've got a text file, and that just contains the numbers 0 to 9 repeated over and over again throughout the whole file, and that's about 8 meg of file. I've then got a batch file, which I'll put on the screen, and all this batch file is going to do is take that source text file and make numbered copies of it on the same drive. We're just going to fill up this drive bit by bit with 8 meg copies of that text file containing numbers. However, what we'll do, we will put one of our video files on there as well. So we'll copy that on there. And as you can see, the transfer rate to that USB memory is about 7 meg per second, which is terrible. And that means actually to fill up this drive at that rate, it would take, I don't know, about three or three and a half days or something like that. If it was really two terabytes, that is. Okay, so now we've got copy B on the memory stick, copy A on the desktop. <coughs> on the desktop. So I'm just going to try and run copy B. There we go, this is running off the memory stick. So we can be quite confident that that one has copied it in its entirety to the memory stick. Right, so we're going to play that video straight off the memory stick and we can see it's working. 
I'll go right to the end, we can see that that's working wherever I go. I'm going to put that on repeat. And now I'm going to run my batch file. So we can see that it's just copying and creating multiple copies of that 8 meg text file on the same drive as the video. Let's see what happens. Now we should be able to run this for hours and hours because 8 meg, all these copies of 8 meg should take a very, very long time to fill up a 2 terabyte drive if it was a 2 terabyte drive, which it isn't, of course. So let's keep on running. Oh, we have a little bit of choppiness now, starting to happen. Yeah, that's really unusual, but actually quite pleasant. So there we go. I um, don't know what else to say about that, because it's just a very unusual experience. It tastes very, very fruity, very aromatic of sweet red apples. But it's, it's a flavoured milk. How bizarre. So, that's weird stuff in a can. Okay, that's just stopped playing now. And, yeah, I don't think... Oh, we can go back to bits of the video, but it looks like we've lost the end of the video. Okay, I'm going to stop the batch file now, and we'll see whether we can restart this video. Can we go back to the start? Let's close it and try playing it again. No. So, it's saying... So the error message we've got is this file isn't playable, because the file type is unsupported, the extension is correct, or the file is corrupt. So what's happened there is that these text files, as they've filled up the drive, have probably looped back round and filled up the bit of storage that's got this file entry on it. So, now this file is not playable. And so the amount of files we had to put on the drive to make it do that was 800 meg, less than one gigabyte. So this is a it's purportedly a two terabyte drive that actually has less than one gigabyte of storage. Just for fun, let's now copy that file back to the desktop. We'll overwrite the copy that's on the desktop here. And then we will diff those files in a text editor and we'll have a look and see what's different. They won't be obviously readable because text file is a video file, but we will see a difference in the characters in the bytes inside that file. So yeah, so this is A, this is B. So we get to a certain point in the file where it just stops and it's empty. So what's happened there is our working video file has been overwritten by, well, interestingly, zeros. I expected that we might find bits of that text file in here, but apparently not. This supposedly two terabyte memory stick is nothing of the sort. It's actually probably about 500 meg memory stick, half a gigabyte. So there we go, that's a complete scam, complete waste of money. That's a half a gigabyte memory stick or less being sold as a two terabyte memory stick. Now you might be at this point asking, yeah, you knew all of that, why did you even buy it? Why did you buy this and why are you slagging this thing off when you know it's a scam? Well, I did this so that you don't have to. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of these, these fake memory sticks out there with boasting phenomenal capacity for ridiculously low prices. If something's too good to be true, that's often a very good indicator that it's not true. And that's certainly the case here. I think maybe before we go, we might actually just tear this thing down and see what we've got inside of there. Okay, well that, that was surprisingly easier than I thought it was gonna be. So there we go, that's what we've got inside of there. Sadly, we're not gonna get a chance, I don't think, to see what's inside of that package because it's just a solid little chunk of plastic. I might try scraping away at that, see if we can expose a chip or something. It's 
But as you can imagine, that's not two terabytes of memory that we're looking at there, is it? Yeah, we're not going to get that apart, I don't think. So there we go. Fake USB memory stick from Wish.com. Don't be deceived. Don't be tempted by fantastic prices on phenomenal amounts of storage. Consider the source and maybe buy from a reputable vendor. So in the end, yes, things that seem too good to be true often are too good to be true. So despite all of my dissatisfaction about this product, there was actually a satisfactory conclusion in the end. I contacted Wish.com customer service and without quibble and without question, they were more than happy to refund my money without even requiring me to return the item. So all's well that ends well, I suppose, but there you go. That stands as a warning to anyone shopping around for USB devices. Just be a little bit skeptical about some of the claims, especially if the price seems too good to be true. I hope that's been interesting and useful. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.